Here's how I restored a dead fuel injector that wouldn't even click to delivering this fine spray pattern with the kind of atomization that's what's needed to support combustion in your engine. And that's why you shouldn't be in a rush to throw away those non-functioning fuel injectors without doing what I'm about to share today. I did just three things to bring this injector back to life. Now let's get this. Backstory is that this fuel rail and injectors came out of a 2013 V6 Accord that was having a prolonged crank and other hard starting issues and I'm guessing the engine ran a bit rough as well. Now my friend had gone ahead to replace the entire fuel rail and injectors with used parts but I got this from him and promised to get to the bottom of the problem and so the very first thing we want to do is to read the resistance across the terminals of each injector. Each car model is going to have its resistance spec. For this 2013 V6 Accord, a good injector should read between 12 to 16 ohms and so I've set my multimeter to the lowest ohm setting above this range which is 600 ohms. This is really simple and it's actually something you can do with the injector still on the car. You just want to probe the two terminals here and see what the readings are and for this first injector it's 12.2 and then we have 12.1 and 12 on the dot so this is looking good so far. On this next bank we have 12.2, 12.3 and 12.2 as well. And so with all the fuel injectors within their resistance spec I'll move on to the next step which is to actuate the solenoids in each of these injectors using an injector tester. This injector tester has four modes from one to four with four being a continuous pulse and that's what we want. The connector to the tester is quite short and so I've connected the leads of the tester to the prongs of another inexpensive adapter. I'm just going to wrap this positive connection so that we don't have any shots. The good thing about this extra adapter is that the other end has the perfect connector that fits these injectors and it also comes with two extra parts for cleaning injectors. I turn on the continuous pulse and now let's see if any of these injectors are not actuating. We go with this first injector which would appear dead as I'm not hearing any clicking sounds but let me just go ahead to switch the polarity even though that should don't be a factor and it still doesn't work. The second one works and so does the third. Let me just test this first one again to make sure it wasn't a connection issue and yet it still doesn't work. I'll just take it off for now. Going on to the second bank and they all work. For the purpose of this demo, I'll just take off another injector that works for actual testing with solvent. I put the good injector into this adapter, which then goes onto a can of cab cleaner. Now you have to hold the injector very tight to the adapter and also don't push down so hard on the can of cab cleaner. In fact, the way I do it is that I depress it just a bit, lift up the can slightly and give the injector time to spray and bleed out all the pressure before disconnecting the connector. If you're too aggressive, you might have something like this happen to you so it's a good idea to wear eye protection. Now this injector clearly works and there's no need testing the dead injector because if the solenoid isn't actuating then it's not going to spray anything at all. And so let's move on to our third step which is ultrasonic cleaning. Today I'll be using extreme simple green which I got recently and I've been impressed with its cleaning power. The other good thing about it is that it doesn't etch aluminium. We'll be using the 1 is to 3 ratio which is the dilution recommended for cleaning engine power and so one part of simple green goes in and then I add three parts of water and the dead injector goes into the bath and then we start cleaning. You can see all the dirt lifting away from the injector but I'm more interested in what it will do internally. What I suspect happened here is that dirt, gum or varnish has clogged up the internal pinto valve in the injector and it's been jammed in place preventing the solenoid from actuating the valve. I ran two five minute cleaning cycles and just to state that even though you won't feel anything you shouldn't put your finger into an ultrasonic cleaner while it's working because of the risk of damaging cells and tissue. Now that that's finished cleaning we'll get the injector out and just a close up examination those are the nozzles. Let's go ahead and test to see if this now clicks. and it actually clicks quite well. Let's now take out the good one that we tested earlier and fit this one that we just cleaned to observe the spray pattern. 
and as you can see that's working quite well with very good fuel atomization the only thing i would say this injector now needs is just a change of the micro filter and so i use this tool to extract the old filter and with a couple taps i push in the new one it will also be a good idea to use one of these rebuild kits to refurbish these injectors properly links to the tools will be down below this kit is for the upcoming rebuild on the direct fuel injectors on my 2017 accord so do subscribe if you don't want to miss that and i'll catch you on the next one peace